And yeah, don't worry, here we are, just uh, trying to figure out what our home room, <laughs> where our hotel room is. Coach, uh, Coach forgot to tell us what uh, what number it is, so Ryan and I are just uh, randomly going through them. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Did he give us the wrong keys? Dude, I'm telling you, he's probably had this. He probably has the same problem up there. <laughs> you know, he's probably he's probably on his way down from the elevator. He's like, yeah, I gave you guys the wrong ones. I just want to say nothing. I could be in bed right now. Yeah, you could. I could already be sleeping. Just <laughs> stick it in there. Just, just do it. Finny, hey Ryan, look at your key card, Ryan. You had it the wrong way the entire time. Does it go the... Yes. Oh, you're right. Finny. Dang it. Come on. Then we gotta go all the way back. I don't know if I did the first time. Oh. <laughs> Please. Uh, you might be going too fast. Maybe. <laughs> I just want to sleep. Well, guys, this is already going good for state. Hello? <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, did you forget to do something, by the way? Oh, I don't know. Tell us our room number. Oh, yeah, we did. And then, and Ryan was, uh, I had, like, one side of the hallway, he had the other. He, no, you didn't. <laughs> he put he put it in like he's putting the key in backwards, so we had to go redo it once I figured out that he was. I blinded both my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deaf in one ear and blinded both. Mugs <laughs> in here, there's bugs. Yeah, I won. Stacked him 17-0. Ryan kind of had a shitty draw. Can't walk. What? The this walk kid, this kid was pretty huge. He raped me. It's all right. You'll stick your dick in the next guy's ass. You think you could get up there on the catwalks? No, but how cool would it be if we sat right there? We wouldn't be able to see anything, but it'd still be pretty cool. You'd look down and be like, I want to die. You'd look down at That would actually be pretty sweet to go up there. On the catwalks up there. Yeah. Yeah, we got Chris. I think, yeah, last, we got year, Chris. I think last year we tried to go up there. Were you, with, you, were you with us when we tried to go up there? Who were we with? Yeah, cool. You guys tried getting up there? Yeah. Yo, what's up, everybody? Won my first match. Have uh, quarterfinals tomorrow morning. And then uh, after that, we'll have semis tomorrow night. Then, we'll finals. So let's hope I can get past this one tomorrow. I uh, never actually been able to get past the quarters in all, all my uh, three years I've been down here. So this tomorrow's gonna be a big one. I get past that. I know I'm gonna break the curse. I'm gonna be able to get through this. So uh, wish me good luck, guys. On another note, though, let's check out this room. It's pretty nice. We have two queen size beds. Uh, Ryan's is there. Mine's over there. We have a pull out couch. Um, we got a nice Keurig. They hooked us up with Keurig. Sweet little mini fridge. Got a microwave. That's pretty dope. Um, you know, normal bathroom. Check out. I mean, this is Ryan's like razor. Like, do you see this? Like, he has a whole kit. Like, why do you need that? The kid doesn't even grow facial hair. I don't understand it. And then there's like my toothbrush. I'm sure he has a whole other kit for his toothbrush too. I would go on to win my second match, being down three zero in the third period with about a minute left. I would get an escape, get an extra point for him stalling. And then take him down with seven seconds to go to win the match four to three, putting myself in the semifinal round for the first time in my entire high school career. <laughs> I mean, it's better than I thought he was gonna do to you. I thought he was putting up your butt. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like he he looked at it. What if it would have broken in his ass? 
Can you imagine breaking a crayon in your asshole? No, can't imagine somebody put in a crayon up your ass. You'd have to like clench it up. Why don't you try it and tell us how it feels? Go in the bathroom. Yeah, you first, though. <laughs> Why do you even have a crayon? It's Ainsley's crayon. Damn, that, <laughs> that was a throw. Yeah, <laughs> that thing went. Good thing it hit my shield. Your glasses? Oh, yeah. Your other eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Holy snot. Tom, remember when you let me dye your hair? I wanted to dye my hair, but Connor didn't make it down the States. Probably, oh, probably yeah. the best. If you, you would have dyed, hair. Your hair, dyed your hair blonde, and, and then... If you would have bleached your hair, too. If would have bleached my hair, too. If Connor had made it, I was going to. Me and Harry were going to do it. You should have bleached your butthole if you, if you would have made it. I did. <laughs> you just every other week. That's I just like the feeling of it. <laughs> And nobody really taught me how to do it, so I had to do it myself the first time. And like, I still always do it myself, but like the first time was kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> the first time was kind of rough. <laughs> okay, go back to your privileged hotel. That's what you are. Oh yeah, there you're the is. privileged. <laughs> My hotel. When <laughs> fancy, I actually have the best view. Like literally, you see that wall all the way down there on the right side. <laughs> Which wall? Um. See, see all those windows back there? Oh, yeah. The, the, the window, the, the rooms all Are the way you, back. Are you, like, the way back the there? The way back. The okay. way back. Okay. See, all those rooms, the all the way bottom one, where there's that wall in front of it. That's where our room is. <laughs> so you can't see anything. We have the worst one. <laughs> you can't see anything. <laughs> Dude, honestly, shit. though, it kind of looks like a hospital. No, that hotel is sick, though. It's it so look like cool. A it looks like a hospital. It does. <laughs> Yeah, you guys in your fucking privileged, your privileged every, hotel. Every person in there is like walking in, and it's like, yeah, well, my company's doing pretty good. Like everybody in there. And then here goes Porch Properties. <laughs> yeah, just find another dump. Good, <laughs> flip it. <laughs> and then like, suck somebody's wealth out, thousand the, bucks a month. One Wyndham house. There was a man named Finn. Finn got in a car and he traveled three hours. When Finn got to the place he wanted to go, two things ended up happening that day. It changed his life. See, we'll look right here and we'll find Ryan Finney. And we'll just cross him. <laughs> we'll go down here and we'll find this one. We'll just cross it off. <laughs> it's not all what Ryan was, is it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's exactly. <laughs> Ryan, I mean, I'm probably gonna kick his ass. <laughs> Sorry, man. You made it farther than that. Watch the glasses, watch the glasses! What's the glasses? <laughs> nah, you're okay. That's not actually uh, I love you. <laughs> that was a hard slap. <laughs> he probably like... broke his hand. He'll be feeling oh. that one in the morning. Yeah, right. I would go on to my semifinal round, wrestling that match at 6 o'clock that evening. I would end up losing the match 6 to 3. It would be heartbreaking for me as I knew that my one lifetime goal that I set for when I entered the sport of wrestling in the first grade had finally been shattered and I would never reach the state finals. I didn't care anymore at that point. I was just too upset and disappointed knowing that I had failed. But I would battle back and end up taking third. No, Logan. Only bitches get third place. Tyler might not be in any more videos. It's <laughs> Graham Will. He might not be, though. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, boo! boo. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> Where'd uh, James go? Did he? No, they got lost. It's a web line. Oh, well, I just texted Move. them the address. Move. I'm sorry, I have to kiss you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you need to be kissed. I know, I know. Oh, please, your mommy's fat and ugly. Yeah, that's why you're on. What are you gonna say, Bryce? <laughs> what are you gonna say about my mom, Bryce? Huh? Stop. You guys go swimming. Call Hoovers and go swimming. Dude, I need a shit. Right, Bye. Oh. Taking the girl. Didn't know you were in here. Take her. <laughs> I'm stealing your kid. Is mommy pooping. Tyler, you didn't even show the door. Hey, Ainsley. Hey, Ainsley. Oh, 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 mommy pooping. Oh, shit. Yeah, I look over it. Oh, 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 no bad language. Ha, ha, ha.
It's so slow. It's so slow. All right, Simon, go. Bryce is drowning. He's drowning. He's drowning. It lowers. That thing lowers down to the ground. That's kind of badass. How cold is the water? <laughs> oh, wait till it gets to your, wait till it gets to your, your privates. Yeah, you better put that back up. Dude, put it up. I know it's that Oh, that's awesome. I went to the ball with it. Oh, you're gonna hit me! <laughs> in about watch out! In about 20 seconds! <laughs> this sport has taught me many things through my 12 years of participating in it. Now I'm 18 and I've already learned what it's like to triumph. I already learned what it's like to fail. What it's like to miss out on something when you're just that close where you could reach down and grab it. And what it's like to get something just by a hair. This sport took a lot of effort. Took a lot of time. And it's one, it's the hardest working sport out there. You could play any other sport you want. You're never going to get the thing. You're never going to get the feeling that you'll get with wrestling. And that's what I love about it. You can work as hard as you possibly can. <laughs> do everything right and still fail and that's that's why I like it it's a lot like life and that's why it's made me a better person it's just made me everything I wanted it to be and more and I still have to learn a lot yeah, I know that and this weekend really taught me that uh, not always the best person wins and you're not always going to achieve what you wanted your ultimate goal you're not always going to get that a lot, it took me took me a lot of hours just thinking in my head and everything. A lot of people tell me that, you know, I still have a lot to be proud of and that I'm an amazing wrestler and everything for me to realize that. Um, to anybody that never gets the chance to wrestle or anything and never gets to really feel the feeling I have, you know, it's it's hard to explain it. In this life, you got to find something you're passionate about. And then just keep working at that thing you're passionate about. Always keep driving, trying to figure out ways that will make you better at it. And no matter how many people tell you you're not going to get get anything out of it, you're not going to do anything with it, um, take those negativity and use them to fuel you. I came from a very small school. Um, we never really had anything good with with wrestling or anything, and... Everybody was always telling me, oh, you got to leave in order to be something good. And I took that, and that's what fueled me. All the negativity made me become the best that our school's ever had. I'm the first four-time state placer. Sure, I never got that goal I wanted, but I can't deny that's not it. That's not amazing. And you got to take that with life. Take all the negativity people get you. Don't, don't get discouraged by it. Look at them, smile at them, and say, oh, yeah, well, watch this. And go and do it. Whether that's, you know, trying to get... Val Victorian or anything, you just gotta keep going with it, and um, I'm gonna keep rolling with it with these videos. I don't know how many people tell me that I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm gonna take that negativity and I'm gonna push forward and keep getting better at them. And that's why I just I gotta thank this sport for teaching me that because I would have never realized that for another 20 years of working hard and wasting my life if it wasn't for this sport. And in the end, now that I've finally reached that the end door. As this door is about to close, and then another one will be open, I, I realized that it's made me a better person, and I can't think it enough. As well as all the people that have taught me everything throughout this wrestling, it's not just about the sports, but all the people I got to meet and everything. I've gone through so many different states and everything with this, and learned just so many different things. And I can't thank everyone enough from my coaches to my dad to my mom, always crying and everything. Like it, it was awesome to all my friends. It's been an amazing twelve years, and. It's sad to say that I high school wrestling is coming to an end, but 
that also means my college wrestling is about to begin. And that's a whole other thing. And it's going to be interesting to see how, where my life goes after this now. And sure, it's scary, but I'm ready for it. So thank you to everyone that has been in my life for the past 18 years, making me the better person I am. And thank you to all of you watching my videos. It's incredible. And for that, you guys are all in my special place in my heart, and I am eternally grateful for all of you. Thank you. And with this, I end Logan's World Season 1 on this sad note.